Hey guys! In the last two videos, I showed you in detail how clay is able to clean your hair without soap. We also went over how clay elongates and stretches your hair. If you haven't seen them already, you can find a link to both videos in the description section below. In this video, I'm going to compare the physical and chemical differences between bentonite clay, rasul clay, and kaolin clay. Bentonite clay is part of the smectite group, consisting mostly of montmorillonite. It's made from volcanic ash that settled in ancient seas and transformed into clay minerals over time. Bentonite is mined from deep rock deposits that are thousands of years old. The mineral content varies based on where it's mined, so bentonite that contains mostly sodium is called sodium bentonite. Bentonite clay that contains mostly calcium is called calcium bentonite, and so on. But in the Western world, the most popular types are sodium bentonite and calcium bentonite. Rasul clay, sometimes called gasol clay or Moroccan clay, is also part of the smectite group, consisting mostly of montmorillonite. Like bentonite clay, rasul clay is a volcanic clay. It's mined in the Atlas Mountains of Morocco. The word rasul derives from the Arabic word for washi, rasala. Kaolin clay, sometimes called china clay, white clay, or kaolinite clay, is different. It's mostly found in soil that developed from the chemical weathering of rocks in hot, moist climates. The word kaolin is derived from kaoling, which means high ridge, which is the name of the hill where the earliest samples were found. Most kaolin clays you find will most likely be white in color, but if it contains certain minerals, it will have a different color. In an effort to simplify things, I'm going to compare each clay by its ion exchange capabilities, absorption capabilities, and its mineral content. There are two types of ion exchanges, cation exchange and anion exchange. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, pause this video and watch the previous video on the science of how clay cleans your hair. It'll catch you up on everything you need to know about how clays work. So, for positive cation exchange capabilities, even though the sodium version of bentonite clay is higher than the calcium version, overall bentonite clay scores the highest out of rasul and kaolin clay. For negative anion exchange capabilities, bentonite and rasul clay score very low compared to kaolin clay. So, bentonite and rasul clay are really good at removing positive charged toxins from your hair and kaolin clay is really good at removing negative charged toxins from your hair. So you know you're covering all your bases when you mix them. As far as absorption rate, bentonite clay scores the highest compared to rasul and kaolin clay. Kaolin clay has very low absorption abilities compared to montmorillonite clays like bentonite. Because as you can see from these images, under a high powered microscope, Bentonite clay is very, very porous. As it dries on your hair, all these pores suck up the oils in your hair like a vacuum. While kaolin clay particles are flat, tight flakes that are tightly stacked on top of one another with no pores. Comparing the mineral content is a little tricky because people usually describe bentonite clay as having high amounts of minerals, but they forget to talk about variety. As described earlier, there are different types of bentonite clays based on its most dominant mineral. So rather than containing a high variety of good minerals, calcium bentonite contains mostly calcium minerals, and sodium bentonite has mostly sodium minerals. That's not the case for rasul clay. It's the only mainstream clay that has been shown to contain 100% minerals and other trace elements. It contains a high content of all the minerals, like silica, calcium, potassium, sodium, and iron, just to name a few. I personally suspect it's due to the fertile African climate it was formed in. Here's an easy to read overview. When comparing the three clays, what makes bentonite clay special is its high cation exchange capabilities and absorption power. What makes rasul clay special 
is its high variety of beneficial minerals. And what makes kale and clay special is its anion exchange capabilities. This is the information we're going to use to make a more effective recipe in the next video. I hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.